What is faith? Well, you know, I'm not going to give you my opinion, and I don't have to, because God has told us right exactly what faith is. In, back in Hebrews, Hebrews 11, I'm going to read verses 1 and 2, which I'm sure you probably know. Now faith is the assurance, King James says substance, of things hoped for, the conviction, or evidence as the King James says, of things not seen, for by it the men of old gained approval. So that's what faith is, yes. right? Do you know the account of Paul when he was being transported to Rome to be put on trial before the Caesar? On the ship. On the ship. He was being transported as a prisoner on board a ship to go from Caesarea Philippi in Israel to be transported to Rome where he would stand on trial before Caesar. But along the way, yes. and there's always an along the way, brother, I'll tell you what. Along the way, a storm rose up. Not a little storm. A monster storm, right? So monstrous that the ship in the midst of the storm sunk. Now, Paul was the only one that seemed to have a perfect peace on board that ship. I think there were 277 people on board that ship. Sailors, soldiers, other prisoners. Paul had a perfect peace. But they were shipwrecked. You know, things don't always seem to turn out right, looking at it in the natural. But God has a plan. Always. God has a plan. And God has a purpose. Paul was surrendered to God's plan. Paul was surrendered to God's purpose. So they are shipwrecked on the island of Malta. And when they do, no life was lost. They come up on the island and they're, they're coming out of the, the water, having been shipwrecked. They're cold, they're wet, so they build a fire. And as they're building the fire, Paul is one of the men who's gathering firewood for this fire. And as he's doing that, he grabs a piece of wood and pow, a serpent, a snake, leaps out and locks on. A deadly A deadly snake. Tortoise. How do I know it was a deadly snake? Because the people who lived on the island and had experience, they looked at Paul and they said, that dude is dead. He's a goner. He's a goner. That's a paraphrase, but that's what they said. So what did Paul do? He's this man of faith. Did he fall on his face and start crying out to God? Did he start, did he gather, there were other believers there, a few other believers. Did he call them and say, please, quick, quick, pray for me? What did he do? You know what he did? He shook the snake off and kept on going. Maybe some of the things that you should do, some of the things that you encounter, some of the trials and tribulations, some of those things that go on in your life, you just need to shake them off and keep on going. You need not to get into a panic and start a prayer meeting, quick, help, 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 help. All you got to do is trust, because God has already promised that he is at work, both to will and to work his good pleasure in your life, that he will cause all things in your life to work together for good when you are called to his purpose. If you have that kind of faith, You'll have a faith where you can just shake the, those attacks of the serpent off and keep on, continue on in perfect peace. Think about it. That's faith. All right? Mm -hmm. Of course, Paul was persuaded about that, right? You know why he was persuaded? I'm glad you asked. He was persuaded because what he said gives evidence of it in Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Paul said, he who did not spare his own son, but delivered him over for us all, how will he not with him freely give us all things? If God loved you so much that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die in your place on that cross, what good thing is he going to withhold? You do not have to convince God to be good to you. How much of your prayer life is about that, trying to convince God to do good to you? Why? Don't you, are, don't you have faith? Trust him. Don't we believe? Don't we trust in him? He's made a promise to you. He's with you wherever you go. He's your rear guard. He goes before you. He's your rear guard. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. It's that faith that overcomes the world. Though the earth shall move and